On today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom layout and save them so that you can reuse them later on your website. Let's rock and roll. Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to another Webflow Weekly. A couple of weeks ago, I explored the new Webflow layouts that we have here. And one of the things that I was telling you is that I'm looking forward for Webflow to allow me to actually add my own layouts here. But then I was thinking about that there's actually a very, very simple hack that we can use to actually save our own layout with the tools that we have right now. So let me jump and show you how I would do this. So let's say I wanna create this kind of a logos section that you see in a lot of websites sites where you have a bunch of logos and they are kind of like distributed. Maybe that's an element that I want to reuse again and again. So let me create this section um, within it. Let me put a container. I usually call them my containers. So they're my containers. I don't like use Webflows. So I set my containers to maximum of 1,100 pixels. And let's throw in a bunch of logos that will be here. Now I'm not putting actual logos, I'm putting this as a placeholder because this is going to be kind of a component that we'll use again and again. And let's add a style to this. Let's call this flex distribute and turn this into a flex box and set them to kind of like, yeah. Now they will distribute no matter how many I'll have here. And let's say this is the component that I wanna have. Maybe for the section, I'll add a little bit more space here. Okay, so let's say this is the component that I wanna save as a reusable template. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna right click it and turn it into a symbol and I'll call this symbol logos row. What that will do is now I have here, not in my layouts, but I have here in my symbols, le uh, logos row. And if I have a new page, let's say um, I have a new page here that I wanna go to, let's say it's a, a product page, product page. And so what I will do is actually just go ahead, throw this in here, and then de unlink this from the symbol. So now I can go ahead and edit whatever I want, put the actual logos in here. And if I go back into a, a different um, page, I can keep adding logo rows, how many I want, and I don't ever have to touch the symbol. Again, every time I'm going to just unlink, and basically the symbols just, um, play exactly like these layouts are. So instead of just having like a visual representation here, I have the name here, but basically it ends up serving as the same function. As long as you unlink them from the symbol, you'll be able to just drag the template, unlink it, and then reuse it for whatever you want. So it's actually a very, very, very simple hack, but I think it's super, super useful if you wanna create yourself custom layout that you'll be able to reuse again and again. Now the thing about this is that they won't transfer whenever you open up uh, a new a new project on your website on Webflow. However, what I like to do is I like to have kind of a template Webflow project with my styles page and with probably the saved layout that every time that I'm starting a new project, I'm actually not creating new project on Webflow. I'm actually duplicated this template project that I have and I'm always starting work from there. So if you will do that, if you will cr create your own custom layouts and a styles page within that templated project and always start by duplicating it, you'll be able to start every new project with your own custom layout already saved in the styles plan, in the symbols panel. Well, I hope that was helpful. Pretty simple, but I think a lot of people just didn't think about this and I actually didn't think about this up until a week ago. So Hope this was useful and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.